right, number nine, here's a little more trivia from the 80s sitcom Family Ties. It's about this song that played a big role in the relationship between Alex Keaton, Michael J. Fox, and his girlfriend Ellen Reed, played by Tracy Pollan, who's his wife in real life. I would do at this moment when you're standing before me. Did we do this yesterday? No. Their theme song. Theme song yesterday. What's when this? they were falling in love, this is the music they played during the show. All right. So this it's is at the this theme moment. Song. It aired on Family Ties in right. 1986. Found Although the song was five years old, what happened was a writer had you come up with a sad and romantic storyline for this season. He needed a song to go with it, and he just happened to go into bar in L.A. He saw a group called Billy Vera and the Beaters, and he knew the song was a good fit. He called Billy the next day. They used it. NBC never had a response to a song like they did with that one. They loved it. Oh, there's some necking going on here right now. Oh, They're yeah. Really making out. <laughs> and it hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100 and Contemporary Charts in 1987. Sold over a million copies, becoming one of the last gold-certified singles in the 45 RPM format. That was a great format. And, of course, these two <laughs> married in real life. They married in 1988. The two neckers? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. four kids. Yeah, How about beautiful. that? Good for them. Number eight, do we have an opinion on heated toilet seats? Back in the day, this was kind of a high-end item. Now there are a bunch of them out there for $200 and under. Most of them have sensors that turn on the heat once you sit on it, and you can adjust the level of warmth. You can get a battery-powered one. Uh -huh. There's no outlet near your toilet. Right. So a lot of them have a motion-censored nightlight, so a bunch of different reasons as to why that might. Now, you're shaking your head, Paul. This seems like, is this uh, is this fall into the heated baby wipes category? Yes, like, it does. like, you're going to be on there for 30 seconds. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Some <laughs> some people spend, seem to spend a lot right. of time in there. But so the maybe... longer you're on there, you've already generated <laughs> enough heat. It's not like. It's true. It's true. Like some people read magazines. Some people yeah. read newspapers I don't get in there, it. Wanting to spend all that time. Yeah. I don't know. There's, but yeah. it's whatever. All right, number seven, perms. They're back, and they're quite the thing for spring right now. Ooh. And we're not talking about your mom's old Ogilvy home perms that would stink up the whole house for hours. We're talking more like loose curls and spiral waves. Uh, the chemicals these days are less harsh than they used to be, but at the same time, they're more powerful. So once you and your stylist agree on what style of curl will work for you and your hair, you're going to end up with the more manageable, touchable curls. Those are perm not curls. Not those yeah, that's old school, no. crispy, <laughs> crunchy curls. Boy, I was rocking a perm for a long time. Mm -mm. Yeah? I, re I, I was really bringing it yeah. in the late 80s. Yeah, I, mean, I can only really imagine. Oof. And it was great. It was like a wash and go. You couldn't yeah. beat it. Was that still on the bowl cut? Or was no, this it was a, a different, little longer. longer. And then it, but it just, you know, you had to straighten out the bangs because when oh, the yeah. bangs were curly, yeah. that, that was, was a hot mess. Yeah. But, yeah. you know. Jiggins yourself, do you ever go with the uh, I had perm? curly hair to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm yeah. trying to go in the so opposite, opposite direction. Uh -huh. Straighten it. Yeah. All right. Yep. Yeah. Right, yes. All right, number six. We're looking at more hangover cures from the olden days. This one was from a 19th century medical advisor. It was drink lots of vinegar, right. then rub some of it into your temples. Mm -hmm. If that one didn't work, the book advised people to strip naked and dump a bucket of water over their now heads. Now we're getting interesting. Another old-timey option to cure a hangover, cabbage. An ancient Greek physician advised his patients to wrap their heads in cabbage leaves. Wow. <laughs> now that, I don't know what the heck that would yeah, do. Yeah, it doesn't matter though. This is a fun time here. You get naked, you got some cabbage on you, and you pour <laughs> and some you're vinegar, vinegar. And you and pour cabbage. ice Ugh. over yourself. Yeah. It really smell really good. Smells you guys right? do gotta have a fun time. <laughs> it sounds like a frat party. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Good for them. Number five, forget about the cooler. Check out the next big thing. It's the portable fridge. The anchored Everfrost comes in three sizes. It runs on a battery, and when fully charged, it can keep all your food and drinks cold for a day and a half. It comes on two large wheels with a retractable handle. Plus, you can monitor the settings through an app. It should be available later this year for around $500. So, hmm. something for a tailgate, maybe, or something like that? It might work. But it only keeps it cold. Oh, go day and a half. Oh, yeah, I day guess and a half. Yeah, yeah. So. That's enough for you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just think if you're going camping or something, yeah. you need yeah. it. You know, it's like a cooler keeps stuff cold for a day yeah, and a day half. And a half yeah. So, I yeah. mean, is it really any... What's well, a big deal? You still need electricity. Yeah. There's probably more room in there because there's no ice, you know? Uh, yeah, maybe that's it. 
a tinker. I just got to work through the things, yeah. you know, yeah. before I... And you're working through them for everybody else, which is what's <laughs> you know, I why do people it in, watch I this. do it ahead of time. You explain things a little uh. better. All right, number four, here's something that uh, we could watch all day long. It's a bovine oh. in slow-mo. Hmm. The slow-mo trot. Wow, look at this. Wow. I'm not really sure whose this is or what's going on, who took the video, but who cares? Look at the jiggle going on. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of baggage yeah, there. Yeah, tail going. Wow. wow. You're not going to see this on another station. No, no, no. guarantee not it. Not in slow motion. No, Look at in fast motion. Look at the ears flapping. Kind of hypnotic. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Something about it, and it's red. I hope that's a huh. filter or something, but good Lord. What do you know? All right, number three. Who knew a whiff of someone else's sweat may actually help with social anxiety? Hmm. Scent scientists at the European Congress of Psychiatry did a study. They found that exposing people to certain types of body odor had a positive impact on calming their nerves, but Great. not just any sweat. Researchers refer to it as happy sweat, the kind that comes from doing everyday normal activities, not the type of sweat you get from being overexerted or scared. It's a different sense to different... Apparently so. Happy sweat and scaredy sweat. Yeah. Overexerted sweat you won't find here. No, you're not going to find that <laughs> here find ever. Here. Do you remember when you were smelling Brian's armpits? Pits, yeah. yeah. He had done a whole bunch of push-ups, I remember believe. Remember that. So those were... How was that? I was fine. It was delightful, actually. There was no... I think... He had probably put the deodorant on within an hour or two. So it was a test of the deodorant? Is I that what it was? So. But if you know, it had been eight hours later. Not just for a Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. Just, sometimes just Can't for fun. Can't remember sometimes. But, yeah, it was fine. Surprisingly oh, fine. Fresh. Okay. Fresh. Well, that's yeah. great. Okay. Great, great. Number two, call it clickbait or whatever you want. How about a look at some dumb headlines? The Wall Street Journal says college should be more like prison. And the subline he sub headline says, the inmates I teach are serious, disciplined, hardworking students eager to engage with ideas. Mm -hmm. From well and good, have the past three years oh. given you pan pandemic pelvis? Here's mm. what to know about the symptoms experts are seeing everywhere. Could, well, that looks like someone sitting the on the toilet Is, there. What the oh. heck is that feeling? That's the old pandemic pelvis. <laughs> and the last one from Vanity Fair, Chris Martin no longer eats dinner. That's a headline. That's a legitimate headline from you. Yeah. yeah. Somebody's clicking on it. All right. We're part of the stink here, <laughs> know, so we can't, like... <laughs> we're part I of the problem. It. Yeah, we don't have any room to speak. All right, time for number one already. Sometimes on Wednesday, uh, to break the monotony of the week, I think, man, it would be so good if we could see an animal get a spa treatment that humans normally get, <laughs> and uh, that's what we have for you right here. <laughs> Come on. Hey. This is how far we've come. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> come on, come on. How happy this guy oh, is. It's right before he eats your face off. Yep. <laughs> He's got a nice outfit on. Yeah, you think you could, you know, you snuggle he's up next to him. Swiping, yeah. No, he'll eat your he's face. He's busy reading his phone right now. Yeah. Oh, he's well, he's, yeah. Making sure his wife isn't sneaking <laughs> in on him. He's texting with some woman. Has he got Fendi pajamas on? Yeah. <laughs> Swipe right. Swipe right. Yes. Oh, no. he's watching. Yeah, check the door again to make sure his wife doesn't come in finding him on Tinder. <laughs> It's uh, just nuts. I don't know where it's from, but it's yeah, fabulous. It delivered, right? It delivered. Man. Wow, that's your nine at nine. Nine at nine.